we have these silly cliches sometimes. People will say, well, I, you know, I want, my, my religion is, it's not about rules, it's about a relationship. Okay, that, that sounds good, except any relationship that means something has rules to it. You get married and you can't go off and cheat on your wife and say, hey, honey, it's about the relationship, it's not about the rules. No, the rules reflect the relationship, protect the relationship, and so it is with God. All of his laws reflect something about the lawgiver. They say something about his love for people, about his fidelity to, to his spouse, the church. They say something about his commitment to telling the truth, why, why we have to tell the truth, why he is all satisfying so we don't have to covet. So we can't violate the laws without dismissing the lawgiver. So we shouldn't think that, well, I'm really tight with God and I have a good relationship with him, but I just don't follow some of the rules. All of those commandments say something about God and his character. And if we look at the Ten Commandments and we say, I don't like that one, I don't like that one, that feels oppressive, it, we're saying something about God himself that we don't like or we don't think is good or we don't trust. If you were a kid and you came downstairs in the morning and you saw on the refrigerator a list of chores to do today, you would instinctively understand that these didn't just materialize on the refrigerator. Th these came from someone. And if I say they're, they're horrible commands for me to do, you're saying something about the one who wrote them. And you can't rip up that sheet of paper without profound disrespect to your parents who put them there. And so it is with God. He's given us these commandments. They reflect his very character. And we can't set them aside without doing great dishonor to God himself.